What up? <clears throat> Everybody, happy birthday to Majima. Thank you for joining on a special edition stream. I don't know what we're doing other than the Majima Saga. Yeah! As you can see, I'm all dressed up today. I mean, you can't even see the bow, but there is a bow. Wearing the sailor outfit today in Mashima's honor. And always, as always, supporting the tag. Oh my god, the Tatum is here. Where is your ball? Could I? Give me a second. Also, hey Sam, where did your ball go? Get him settled for like the last 30 minutes. And this is this is how it goes. So hey Barry, what's up? You realize now that's Vanya? But her name is Vanya. I figured we might want the jacket. It covers up the sailor suit, but you know. I also have a black wig. You know what I don't have yet? I need two things still. I need to get leather pants. Oh, hell yeah. Show me my man. I recognize that guy from the clips. My music video. From my Majima music video. Which I still gotta make like five others. I've been distracted and falling asleep. <laughs> そうだ。登場会改革かなんか知らねえが、大見みてえに金の猛者になるつもりはねえぞ。そこはピーチクピーチクうるさいって。ログに結果も出せねえ連中が、ごちゃを。Excuse me. きっちり収めるもん収めてからいいや、ボケが。何ぞ。シートばかり5代目に気に入られたからって、いい気になるよって。この前まで3次団体のペーペーだった新山が偉そうな口叩くね。新山か新山でないかはもう重要じゃないん
ではこれより緊急幹部会を始めましょう五代目今日はどういう案件ですまた例の登場会改革ですかそうその続きの話です現在空席になっている若頭を決めたいと思うとおります若頭どうやって決めるんでどうするんだ誰がなる難しいそこで私の進めている登場会改革のルールに沿う形で適任者を選ぶことに決めましたルールルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルそれでは早速各組織の上納金の金額を確認しましょうかイーブチはいそれではこちらをご覧くださいおいおいそんなこんなに差があるのかご覧の通り古くから登場会を支えている皆様の額はどんぐりの性比べまあ柏木さんの風間組が検討してるってところでしょうかしかしその風間組にダブルスコア以上の差をつけてるんですかそれが私の率いる飯淵組と植松さんの植松組ですあんたたちが毛嫌いしている新参者のねこの結果に基づくと1位は植松組つまり次期若頭は植松さんということになりますかなふざけんなやお前は別に関係ないだろ汚い次第に手を染めてるからやないか登場会にはな美学ってもんがあんだよ No 五代目が認めても俺は認めねえぞ金に目がくらんで極道の魂なくしちまっとるんとちゃいますかザコがジャガシュ Look, uh, I didn't. You have done this to yourself, Toasty. With your blasphemy. No. Ah! Oh, my God. That is no guy that Missy got created to a motto. I should have got a volunteer to a motto again. こんだけ組に貢献するのは相応の地位をもらって当然やる文句あるやつはわしらぐらい稼いでからいや Being out of control with the mod powers <笑>異論はないようですねでは次期若頭は植松組の植松さんということでうん Please do try to contain your trigger finger. <laughs> yeah! I totally missed what the conversation was right before this because I was looking at you in the chat for abusing. Hell yeah! Katsuo really wanted to go. Mashima was like, no. Not today, kiddo. Yeah. Oi, so go on to the sick janitor. Damn it, the me to get my seat now. Hey, there.
Quicken this shit up. Man, I love everything about Mashima. Got the pink lights on so you can't see how red I'm feeling. My man. How do you think we got it, Kay? ケイ。草野球がしたくてのう。金貸した時の担保に鴨室町近くの空き地をちっとばかり手に入れとったんや。そしたらなんやでかい企業がそこにビル建てたいから土地を譲れ言うてきてのう。適当に吹っかけたら
I'm like, see, we need, we need Mad Dog's Pup, the, the trilogy game set, so that we can have more of Majima's. Mad Dog of Shimano strikes again. Incredible Majima sound. <laughs> I'm sure that you gave Umatsu a lot to think about, huh? I'm just glad that he got his ass handed to him. Hey. <laughs> Nice shirt, Brosif. Another great day at the office, boss. Nishida, Anaki, and the others already headed back. They took your son with them. I'm all, I'm ready to roll if you are, sir. どうなっちゃうんでしょうね。登場会は。あ？いやその。登場会改革とか言ってましたけど、何でもかんでも金で判断するっつうのはどうなんすかね。上松さんとか井口さんとか信頼できると思います。新入りのお前が心配するようなことちゃうやろ。そ、そうっすよね。すいません。ま、登場
What? Montana. By contributing souvenirs to carry you through the convenience store ATM, you can retrieve an item of equal value at hideouts when controlling Kiryu in the main story. You can also make use of the leftover money in the Mashima Saga. Time to plan some Mashima magic. Wait, can we play karaoke? Shogi. I need that. I need the karaoke can. I think it's time for a little Mashima karaoke. I'm pretty sure we did the Mashima karaoke song. Oh. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Toasty. What's <laughs> My phone. And of course, Majima wouldn't talk about possibly quitting the Yakuza with Katsuo in the car. He probably just does it and then later he's like, So, change of plans, Katsuo. We run a construction company now. And then Katsuo is just like, Hell yeah. Better be worried about your own family. Gotta get to the office. Gotta call Hitomi. Make sure Katsuo made it home. Do I have? Okay, I do have 500 yen. Let's go. Yeah, make up in the chat. Hey, Mike, what's up? Oh, no, it's so sad. It's so sad. It doesn't have to be a sad song, though. He's got you tell me in a family. しい。俺が世界中を好き勝手に君が幸せならば許せどれだけ無目で残酷な地獄に突き落とされても君が悲しむよりは千倍万倍ばしやで幸せなら Ivinosa, 
その涙吹きなよ幸せなら言いいのさ構わねえさせっかくのべっぴんが台無しさ幸せなら幸せなら俺は変わねえ何度だって何度だって祈ろう I love you. I love you. 忘れないでよなんて言わねえさ。We don't need my photo. We've got his homie and the family. I love you. I love you. それで明日の君が幸せなら、いつまでも君が幸せなら。We'll have to go and see if we can play、uh, 24 Hour Cinderella on the Zero. He does go all the way. Just replace all the scenes with Hitomi. True facts. That's how it is, though. Hitomi filled in that empty spot, gave him three sons. You don't have to be lonely. Ooh, there are these people all over the place to fight. What is this? What is this? Hello? Greetings, Mad Dog of Shimano. It seems as though you've been making quite a name for yourself in the underworld once again. Right? Who defeats such a powerful opponent? I would become a god among men. So, to help me achieve my goal, will you become my stepping stone?、Oh, this ought to be good. I started this fight because I believe your defeat is inevitable. Now prepare to meet your maker. The song of my people? <laughs> What is the song of my people? Man in black. It's been a while since you last fought, so your prescription may have dulled. Perception may have dulled. To get back in shape, I've located some powerful foes with some backbone. Go to the children's park behind the theater square and Suppin Street in Kamurocho. Fight these guys first, and you should remember the true essence of Mad Dog of Shimano. We got that guy, and we got that guy. I feel like it's not even worth running to the other side of the map to go to the drugstore. Why is there a group, like, a group of people over here? This feels suspicious. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, my boss said that you'd pay me, pay me good if I beat the shit out of you. See you in hell, Cyclops. Uh, excuse me? Cyclops! <laughs> Help me find an absolute shot, okay? Find the one eye. But Katsuo also is like, that just means he's cooler than your dad, okay?
Oh, my office is... Wait. Way up there. So why is there this? Why are there more people over here? What are you? What do you want? You, would, you wouldn't try to shake down a starving student, would you? I'll scream. I'll do it. Student, student like man? The Galaxy Defender Men in Black? Are you saying I'm an alien? How was I listening to that? The greatest of human race is what I wanna be. Oh, oh, oh. I am the law, the law, the law, the law. I don't know all the yeah, words you to are that song, but and my man, they can tell me it's man. I did have that original CD, though. I might as well just go to the drugstore. It's literally right there. I had that original Big Willie style CD. Galaxy Defender. Oh. Here come the men in black. Uh. I do not have all the song, the lyrics for that song. That is for any of those songs. It's another good song. What's most what's most up front on my MP3? Gone tomorrow. Riot. Wild card. Well, I only I like wild cards because I associate it with Tachibana now. I don't know any of the lyrics of these songs that are coming up. There's maybe on the wall. Maybe I'm the one who is a schizophrenic psycho, yeah. I'm a NAS- what is a NASCAR? Look, I diligently practiced. <laughs> Baka me die in 24 hour Cinderella for like two weeks and then like can- like, they were on repeat, and I had the lyrics open, and I was singing them again and again and again and getting the hang of them, and now I need to practice again. So I can actually read those for you. I know NASCAR, but I'm saying, how am I a NASCAR? My parents actually liked NASCAR. My bad, I guess I could actually work at a convenience store. Combini. I just learned that the word for convenience store is combini. So now only I love you. Instead of knocking them off. I'm serious, man. I'll get a real job here. Just take this and you'll never see me again. Thank you. I will take this. Then I'm gonna go get a get some food. I did have a fairly delicious cheeseburger earlier when I was at lunch. I had been considering getting something else, but then I also... Ah! I can't see my food bar. <laughs> Mm 
なんちゅう味やありがとうございます Rumor has it no one can even lift a finger against you. No one except me. Good, good. You see, I need to up my training regimen. So, like it or not, you've enlisted as my sparring partner, so get ready to rumble! I'm only sad that I can't upgrade my mosh. More attack. I see. I see we are feeling uh frisky this evening. I like when he's got kind of a mixture of his break dancing and the Mad Dog Shimano battle. I am not very good with people that are crying. So it's kind of just like, it's probably okay. I wouldn't do a damn thing against ya! Eh, <laughs> looks like. Yeah, this town found itself a new champion. Take this to commiser commemorate the victory. It's another silver plate. You're gonna, y'all are gonna make me go all the way down to the pawn shop for this. Are there any more? Was it only those three? You better send me a message. Made it black. Yep. I'm the theater, Children's Park, Summon Street. The wizard ugly cries. The wizard can see themselves out. I am not the person this wizard wants help from. For large extras, we get the sofa. Sketty. Pork bento. Let's go. ありがとうございました. Are you sure? Oh, we have a bunch of bentos. Oh, I, I still can't because I have hunger. Play toilets when you reach 3,000 points. Your points will go. What the frick? So I can play toilets because I have 3,000 points? Uh, I would be like, why are you flying into my room right now, Wizard? Wizard Chan, you should be, uh, not. Does that mean he just has a portable version of toilets so he can do it anywhere? Is that what that means? What is this? Batting cages. I almost feel like we should do batting cages. Oh my gosh, why is he so attractive? I can 
already imagine him choking back the tears of gratitude. Patriarch Mashima, thank you for your support of the fourth chairman gift fund. Response has been positive and we are implementing a tiered donation system. If you wish to donate the next tier, please deposit 1 million yen at any convenience. It's always more money. Oh, come on, Shigemi. You did that to yourself, girl. Creeper, peeper, peeper, creeper never dies, for real. I like that Shigemi told Michi that story, and then Michi just went and asked somebody what was in the bathroom to get the answer to what they were all doing in there. Hang out with us for a little while, old guy. That's what be like. Nobody calls my old man an old man except me. Yes, they did invite her to see. She was like, what's in there? And they're like, oh, it's a toilet game where you pee get a high score and then she's so attractive they were like you want to you want to come in and see how hard i can piss she was like ah no thank you i'm okay oh my gosh we're gonna have to call hitomi this is not good yeah because he got nishida He's gonna be like, where the frick is Katsuo? Did he get home first? The hell. Yeah. Boss! Nishida, who did this? Is Katsuo okay? Matsu. Family. Huh? Matsu. Think I even know he's who he's fucking with? <sighs> Fine. He wants a war? He's got one! Matsu, get ready to answer the door because hell's about to come knocking. What if Umatsu kidnapped Katsuo? At this moment. The Umatsu office would be somewhere east of Senryo Avenue. I could see it. If I, if I head there now, I'll get to jump on his sorry ass. Especially because he was hanging out with them. Again! Except this time he's not just a bystander. Like, last time he was not the target. <laughs> Last time, Daigo was the target, and he was just around. This time... I mean, he was around, but also... Umatsu taking him is a power move in this circumstance. And this did technically happen first, which maybe is why he was such a little prick when uh, Daigo got it. He's like, this isn't scary. Hey, you there. You a tough one, ain't ya? That eye. It's like the eye of a rabid dog. That's what they call you, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Now, you really gotta show me that strength of yours, muscle man. Tell you what. Beat me and I'll even give you my favorite piece of candy as a sign of respect. Sure, why not? Well, that was a quick decision. I like that. Now, let's get ready for some rumbling maniac action. Oh, yeah. And this is all when Katsuo actually oh, slightly before this. Katsuo got the nickname Mad Dog's Pup because he was always with his dad. And he gets kidnapped and they're mocking they're calling him and mockingly because he's just died. Hey! Fujiki stop! Oh, 
It's hard to think that those moves came from a human being. You're one mad dog, all right. To a brother like you, I admit my defeat. As for the candy I promised, my bad man. I actually scarfed it down before our match. Will this do instead? Thank you for the gold plates, sir. I will take the monies. Oh. So you got one, two, three, three more. How are you doing, Vanya? Katsuo can't help it because he hangs on people. To be fair, it's Kiryu's fault that Katsuo was kidnapped when he was with Daigo. <laughs> Here, you made Katsuo go with Daigo. Here you had just allowed him to watch as he fought Goda. He would not <laughs> In which case, it was with, it was with uh, Daigo where they had no idea who he was. He was just an annoying little child. That would not shut the frick up. Until they taped his mouth. Oh, here you didn't tell, uh, much about Tatsuo was kidnapped. So I think, it, I think Tatsuo would have let that slip. Uh, but Katsuo would have made up a story about how he helped beat, here you beat a bunch of guys inside of a brothel. When Daigo got kidnapped, he wouldn't even say he was kidnapped. He'd be like, Daigo got kidnapped, and then Ka here you and I went and got him back and beat all of these bad guys. Well, Daigo was crying on the floor. <laughs> I heard a Yakuza turf war went down on Park Boulevard. What a pain. My office is right there, too. It's not like Mashima doesn't know that Kaituo is embellishing, but still. Because then he'd go and ask Kip Kiri what happened with Daigo later. Ugh. Waiting for whenever you can order pizza. Pizza sounds amazing. Oh my gosh, it's a samurai. Are you Magica? Answer me. Magica, asshole. If you're gonna suit up for a fight, at least get the name right. It not matter, I dispose of you. out on all this cool stuff my dad's doing because these random people random freaking loser that has a phone to pick with my dad and he's just over there annoying the crap out of uh umatsu right now <laughs> it appears i've lost here is your compensation Yo, why you hate my dad? Why did you attack the office? Why am I here? Shut up. No, why am I here?
I want that day old Cali pizza. Oh. Apparently, this Majima guy is pretty sharp, but since he doesn't know who I am, all I gotta do is ambush him and win without a hitch. Bad news, buddy. You know that's me, right? Wait, you're Majima? Well, fuck! Here I go anyway! It's not real pizza. If the toppings aren't thicker than the crust, let's be real here. Toppings must be thicker than the crust, and if you're a deep dish pizza kind of person, let's be real, deep dish is just another word for casserole. You know it, I know it. No, for casserole. Casserole. How the hell did you know I was after you? Let me get off the hook of this man. And I promise, I won't attack you anymore. I know. I know you're just obsessed with Katsuo, because he is wonderful. So when I say casserole, you heard Katsuo. And it's understandable that you would be obsessed with Katsuo, because he is... wonderful. Everybody loves him. This we can agree. What? <laughs> you gotta figure out a way in. And nobody at school believes him. I got kidnapped over the weekend by these guys that hated my dad. It was not scary at all. <laughs> Thin crust only. Exactly. Defeat the enemies, which is what I need right now. That's fair. Hang on, I know. Yup, that is what he do. Go down to the pond shop. I got so much, so many plates already. I'm making, trying to make some money for this gift. As of a family. Why are there all of these random gangs that are just hanging around? 
Also, having just played Zero the other night, Kamurocho will be looking way different in the 80s. Welcome back, Barry. ありがとうございました. Everybody in Tetsuo's class just thinks he's a blowhard. Except the girls are like, he's so cute though. Like, he's kind of a badass. I saw that. Hand it over! What's up, guys? I see your purple jacket. I wouldn't say all of them. He was fairly popular. Too cool. Okay. With them ramming, and then time to go into the location. What's up, guys? Feed me. Sorry about your chairs. うまいのありがとうございましたありがとうございました。Sorry, lady. This is where Sagawa's office was. Except his was a little further down. This is the Masu family uh -huh. office. Weird, nobody's here celebrating that cheap shot of my boys. Uh oh. He's like, that, cut that better not be Katsuo's blood. Imagine how freaking Johnny would be to see his blood and they have Katsuo. Oh no. We did hardly know ye. Uh oh, prodigal son, I think we're going back to Sotenvori. Konkai no ken. Do you kotoka setsume ste moraimashoka? Setsume moksomo naiwa. Ea ni hai tottera wematsu ga shindotta. それだけ。マジマさんと上松は時期若頭の座を争うライバル関係。そしてそのマジマさんが上松の死体の第一発見者。何が言いたいんだ。言いたいことあるならはっきり言えや。上松殺したのはあんたじゃないかって言ってるん
これ以上子さん同士のかばい合いは見ていられないてめえ柏木さんもうええわマジマわしはごちゃごちゃ脳がき垂れんのは苦手でのこいつらのくだらんお茶会に付き合うんはもうごめんや上松やったやつの首取ってくりゃ文句ないやろええもちろんそれができればね Good night, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think this side sub story is that long. At all. You kept us waiting, Matsuma. We have Matsu strays, I take it. You thought that you were gonna just sit in that office and mourn? We won't be satisfied until you don't have a pulse. <laughs> nice. At least Uematsu raised his boys upright. This is vengeance for our boss. Now die! I was basically wearing the base of my Majima boots earlier. Oh, the snake skin. They just don't have plates on them. Too strong. Yeah. Learn any lessons today? I can take six guys with my good eye shut. Then you figure out that when you jumped me in a Kamurocho. Kamurocho? Hey, me. That wasn't us, man. Huh? Huh? Boy. Majima. Hmm? Are these guys from the Uemetsu family? Idiots. You attacked him with no evidence to suggest he even did it? It's cool, Kashiwagi. Their boss just took a bullet. Can't blame him for wanting to take out some pent up aggression. Mm. Then what's your next move, my Eh, I figured I'd just start smacking up every thug this side of town. Rattle enough skulls, you're bound to hit the right one eventually. Mm. I should have expected as much. Here, this might help. Oh. What's this? The name and location of a legendary information dealer, the florist of Sai.、Uh -huh. What's he gonna have for me? A pretty bouquet?、Uh. That and every bit of info you could ask for. If it happens in Kamurocho, he'll know. At the very least, there's no harm in starting、uh. there. Yeah, less than bloody that way, too. Much, op much obliged, Kashiwagi san. Yeah. Don't mention it. We need your attention on the clan. The Tojo clan is on a precipice here. Find the real culprit, clear a name, and any doubt from Tarada and his lackeys. Can't say I honestly give a damn about Tarada and his circus monkeys. I ain't gonna complicate this. I wanna find the guy who set me up and dislocate a few bones. This whole thing stinks, Mashima. Be careful out there. And I need to find my son. Quit missing. Legendary informant hangs out at the top of the millionaire, the Millennium Tower. Talk about hiding in plain sight, guess I'll drop it. Park Avenue, Senrayo Avenue, and North Senrayo Avenue. Welcome back. Raccoon.、Oh, one, two, three. Okay, I see them. t h 
they gonna give me some platinum plates? Because I'm pretty sure he fights people from other schools. Because he skips classes. Enough. That is for sure. Yeah, he's got a small reputation. I mean, and it's enough of a reputation that Masato also, that it's known within the, uh, the Yakuza, which is why Masato was able to take advantage of it to frame him for murder because he's reckless. A lot like this, actually, because they're like, look, you're the mad dog of Shimano. No wonder you killed that guy. Huh? And Katsura, they're like, yeah, you're the freaking mad dog's kid, and you're just a problem. But he's not... It's not like a random civilian thing is gonna know of his reputation. He's not like that. He was just like a kid that got into trouble at school and then as he got older he was known I mean he was plenty known within uh the Dojima or not the, the Tojo clan because he did everything with Majima. So they very well knew him. But outside of that, no, he was just a child. He got sent away when he was 18, so before he really got started on his own. And then he basically built up his own independent reputation in uh, Kansai. Hey, yeah. ain't you that Majima fella? My guy's been saying you're uh, pretty handy with a knife. Now, uh, I ain't trying to cramp his style or nothing, but between us guys, all a gangsta needs nowadays is a gun. Now, am I right or am I right? I say it depends on who's holding the knife. Hey, hey! Sounds like you have. You wanna have some fun. Alright then, I'll show you the moxie of the new generation of Yakuza. I mean, if he had a reputation as a delinquent, it's not gonna be any more than anybody else's delinquent reputation. Aside from probably his dad looking kind of nuts. Oh my god. And having one eye. So they're like, maybe don't mess with Tatsuo. He's... His dad looks like trouble. He's probably also trouble. Vanya! Looks like I gotta get my head in the game. Here, this is teaching me something good. Just take it. I thought so.
my friend though. Negative 15, I can do that, and I can go and uh, eat some food on the way to the next battle. Yeah. 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 Only but surely getting that money. Arigatou What's up? Or was or are you just are you just a reaction to me? Okay. This guy and then that guy. Let's go. Abigail, would you ship yourself with the wizard if the wizard yeeted Stacy into the sun? Hmm, what a stupid looking eye patch. You're Goro Mashima, aren't you? I knew it. You're the motherfucker that's been messing with my boys. So what if I did? Well, maybe your boys had it coming. Huh, then how about I rip that other eye off of yours? What if he was ah? What if he was a respectful wizard? Is this the same wizard that cried and also crashed into my room? Or is this a different wizard? I need to know. You know, we should probably go to the, uh, be more of this and I'm gonna wind up dead. Give me a break, will ya? I'm being serious. Here, I'll show you that I'm not such a bad guy. Thank you. Thank you. I should go here while I'm down here. Get some, get some more drugs. Plan dinner at Waffle House? I hear. Someone just insulted you. What they do? Why? What happened? How? Where are you talking to people? Is this in real life or online? Also, how? Why? Also. Oh, I 
What the frick? What are they? What? Your friend needs to be looking for their own roleplay partner, let's be honest. This guy's got a knife. What's up, guy? My guy? Ah, it seems I found the infamous Goro Majima at a long last. You may think you're a real star of the show these days, but I think that you should know you're a bad influence. Come on, we both resemble adults here. Might I suggest you tone it down a bit when it comes to attracting negative attention? Tone it down, huh? I'm gonna tone down your face. Mm. I doubt you even mean that. Maybe, just maybe, some corporal punishment will set your snarky ass straight. Here comes the death penalty! What does that even mean? Don't you look for, like, friendly people when you're trying to have a relationship like that? Or I don't understand. Unless they want to get their, uh... Girl bossing. Rude damsel in distress, but also has all these powers. Stuff done early. Monty is a good friend. Let's talk this out, like adults. You're calling... You're calling Majima, not an adult. And you got that hairstyle? Bruh. Bruh. A girl boss cannot exist without a man. That's a requirement in order to make them look like a girl boss. Before you get punchy with me, I'll have you know I'm not a stingy person. Like any good sport, I prepared some compensation for you. Of course, here have it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, time to go to the florist. Let's... Actually, should I sell these things? No, we have another chapter, so we should be... We should be fine. I assume the first is at the end of this chapter. I hope the florist is at the end of this chapter. <laughs> Must have pissed off the wrong guys. Why don't you come quietly? <laughs> that guy's orange hoodie with the skull flag.
ると思ってたぜ、マジマゴロまあいいや、全部お見通しってわけか。伝説の情報屋ってのは、本物のことやったんやな。あんたみたいな目立つ男を追えないようじゃ、こいつで飯なんか食っちゃいけねえさ。んで、一応聞くが、何を調べたい like, isn't it obvious? My child. この事件の真相で、俺を止めた黒幕がおるなら、そいつ見つけ出して、叩きつるさな気が済まんからの。山が山だからな、情報量は高くつくぜ。安心せえ。珍しく金なら山ほどあるで。なんぼえ。いや、今回は金では受けねえ。情報と引き換えに。俺の頼みを一つ聞いてもらうそれでどうだうんなよその頼みっちゅうは俺がここに移る前に仕切ってた才の瓦って場所があるんだがそこをあんたに任せたい才の瓦西公園の便所からつながっているまあ裏社会みたいなもんだ俺の昔の仕事場があった場所でな、鳥羽から地下闘技場まで人間の欲望を満たすもんが何でも揃ってる。<笑>面白そうなとこやないか。だが、訳あって今はほったらかしになっちまってる。誰が信頼できる人間に任せてと思ってたんだ。Mm, 俺はそないに信頼できる人間ちゃうで信頼できるかどうかはあんたが決めることじゃない俺が決めることだどうだ受けてもらえるか<笑>俺は黒幕殴れるなら何でもかまへん河原の管理の一つや二つお安いご用や交渉成立だな何やこれは俺の仕事道具だこいつを使えばカムロ町中の情報が俺のもとに舞い込んでくるってわけささて植松殺しの件だったなこのモニターを見てみろ映っとるのは俺やないかあああんたが植松組に乗り込んだ時の映像だこいつを巻き戻していくぞ。これは。河村。なんだあいつが。さあな。そいつは本人に聞いてみねえとわからねえ。頭の中までは。映像には映らねえからな。どこ行く気だ。決まってるやろ。組に戻るんじゃ河村のやつに話を聞かんとあかんからな残念ながらもうそいつはカムロ町にはいねえじゃあどこにおるんやそうてんぼりそうてんぼりだそうてんぼりおかっぱんしゃくせいせいでげとけいわたがんありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。To round up info here is probably well shit. <sighs> This blows, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, I see. Are we gonna. The pantsless wonder? Are we gonna. The, the pants stealing wonder, I should say. Are we gonna run into him? <laughs> This guy in his sweatsuit. 
You wouldn't happen to be the one everyone's talking about, would ya? The one that's come back to town to beat people after death? If you are the real deal, then why don't you try me on for size? I, Nagafuchi, the Skanda, am several cuts above the rest and ready to kick some ass. Another champ for the pie. Ah oh, yeah, now we're talking. Alright then, buddy, let's go. That's what it sounds like. It was his first time back in South Glory since he left and he said back there of all places. So I that he checked on freaking Sato's to see if it was still the way that they left it. Good night, Barry. Never fought. I thought I'd be the one to cut down. You're getting cut down to size. Man, what a crazy ass world. This, my good man, is to commemorate your tri triumph over Nagafuchi, the Skanada. The Skanda. No, don't hesitate. Just take it. We got you and we got you. Uh. I can see we're not gonna have uh, the jazz song music, are we? Because it was where that park was, it was near that little park area, and it was like right across the way from the adult video store that was over there. Because it was also just like down the street from Club Sunshine. Huh? You ain't just a civvy, are ya? I'll teach you how to run this town. You ain't. A... You got an invite to cruise onto our turf. If not, you'll pay with your life. <laughs> Bro, you're gonna turn that person on with that rest of us. Like that, she's gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry, kid mistress. That was the, the answer that that person was looking for from mom. They're gonna be like, please talk to me like that some more. Ooh, the pawn shop is right here. Hello, Get out of my way. Hello. Hello. 
I need a little bit more money. I've been hearing rumors of a real monster showing up around here lately. They say he's got the strength of a lunatic. That's you, ain't it? Yeah, I can see it just by the look your eye, but you know what? I can take ya! I bet you can't! <laughs> and then let's get this party started. Get ready! Shit, no wonder everyone's talking about you. I might have lost, but I still got a g damn good time. This is my way of saying thanks, so take it. We can almost. Oh, we can go and sell. <laughs> it's time. It is the back time. Oh. That's disgusting. and maybe go right back to Kamarojo. Oh my gosh, this is where, this is near it. Not, not this part, but... I don't want to see when anybody is upset or angry. I feel bad when anybody is there. Especially if it's my fault. But even when it's not my fault, you know? You know? This is pretty much where Sato's was. On this side. Huh? The hell, asshole. You got a death wish or something? Look, there's Club Sunshine. It moved. They made it there. Yeah, I think the the porno store was slightly further down. Like, I think the porno was kind of over here somewhere. And so Sato would either be like this building or this building. Since this is already a restaurant, I could probably make this Sato's. Gosh, get out of there. Yeah. Or just input something and squeeze this little bit out.
memories in here. And it all just started with a meeting with Sagawa. At an obscure little restaurant that he had never been in before, because he didn't really mention, even though it was just a block or two away from his house. And then he saw pants that were busted up and was like, oh my gosh, how can you call yourself a fucking ab pants like that? And an eye patch halt, halt right there. I hear you've been up to mischief, mayhem, and all other sorts of no good. Darned if I let a dangerous villain like you set foot in this precious city turn back before I utterly vanquish you. Mayhem. Why, I never. Them's fighting words. Sit. Silence, scum. Your excuse reeks of filth and lies. If you won't turn back on your own volition, then I'll just have to meet you. It all started with Majima's <laughs> willingness and automatic <laughs> Response to helping people that look like they needed something. Even when he would die and be like, oh my god. She brought her pants, and then she brought her a bento, and she brought him a bento. As soon as she found out where to find him, and she. <laughs> Except not to die, that's the only thing. He called the sisters on a suicide mission and he wasn't coming home, but before he could get that out, I don't want to ask him for anything, but please don't die. And then he heard you talk. Ah. I'm glad that part gives you feels. It gives me feels, too. So you really weren't waltzing around aimlessly. Picking fights after all, I gathered that much from a valiant way you battled. I offer my humblest apologies. Please accept this. <sighs> they are so sweet. That part, though. And it adds so much more to them marching into that place and then not dying. sell these plates so that we can uh, donate to the gift. His wants to stay alive for her and, uh, you know, Nishitani's threat. And also Nishitani mocking him. But yeah, also. Specifically for her. Because I was talking to Monty is, uh, Mashima was really the only thing stopping worse from happening to Hitomi because she was so alienated that, and surrounded by Yakuza, that she could have easily, as soon as Sagawa was done with her, she could have easily been trafficked or killed. And if he had died, it would have either been with, she, she gets taken under Nishitani's protection or she's worst that's gonna happen to her because Nishitani doesn't have a reason to keep her around at some point. Or Sagawa doesn't have a reason to keep her around at some point, not Nishitani. But Nishitani's not around her all the time, so she could have just disappeared one day because of Sagawa. 
and nobody would have known what happened to her because all that she had was Mashima and Nishitani. And Naoki, but Naoki lived in Tokyo. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Three million. Because we also know that Sagawa dies at the end of Zero. But that's also... So also, in a way, Sagawa was like one of the- was in the way of the rest of the Yakuza, like just taking the property and doing away with her. So if Sagawa died at the end of Zero and it was just Hitomi and there was nobody else, then whoever took over the property wouldn't have a reason to keep her around, so she probably would have been... graphic. She was just a 19-year-old girl with nobody. He's like, he must be like, bro, this is so different. This is where we used to live. I'm looking, I'm playing Mashima, looking at Mashima. Talking about characters, I'm good. We got a happy ending. Saga needs, Sega, Saga. Sega needs to hire Monty and I to rewrite Kiwami and Zero to add in Naoki and uh, Hitomi and uh, to redo Nishiki's arc and uh, to do the whole Mad Dogs Pup Saga because we got at least three games that Kiryu and Majima and Nishiki are still all in. And Kazuma and Tachibana. <laughs> At least three games, yeah. We could do more, too. I'm sure that there could be something, but we've got at least three arcs. Welcome to the Grand, sir. Is this your first visit, sir? Ooh. He's like, oh. I am intimately acquainted. Any particular hostess you'd like to request then? Yeah. Nah, just set me up with whoever's popular with young assholes. Uh, uh sir, sir. <sighs> don't sweat it. I got money to burn. <clears throat> huh? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, sir, understood. No. Hello, sir. Would you like to start with a cocktail? Yeah. Nah, let's jump straight to the best bottle in the house. You saw. Really? You mean that? Ah. Sure. That'll be a nice chunk of change for you, right? But I'm hoping you'll indulge me in burning questions I got in exchange. Oh, no problem. How can I help you? Just want to know if you've seen this guy around. Huh? Hmm? Oh, can't say that I have. Or at least not... 
bet he's not been at my table. <sighs> That's so. Figured a girl like you might have had an inside mm. scoop. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll ask around with the other girls. Ooh. You do that for me? See ya. Sure. The crowds are light today. They'll have enough time. Besides, a guy who orders a bottle at these prices deserves a little TLC. Hey, <laughs> give my regards to your manager. I'll leave you to it then. No! Sir, I think Hayami, uh, Ayumi-chan here might have a lead for you. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. That guy in the picture, Ayumi-chan, recognized him. Oh. Did you now? <laughs> I did, I did! Kawamura, right? He went to the same junior high. Mm. But to be honest, he hung out with a rough crowd, so I avoided him most, uh, most of the time. Well, I happen to be looking for this rascal. You heard anything more recent? Mm. Bad news. Sounds like he's had some debt problems. Huh? Debt collectors, huh? He's so good at schmoozing with the girls. Just look at him talking to the girls, and the girls are just like so comfortable. He is a ladies' man. I see how Katsuo gets. All of the girls comfortable. Yeah, I guess he's a bit of a gambler. This is how he's able to run his uh, cabaret club as well as he he does. Even when he was 13 and helping Kiryu with four shine. He was in town asking for my friends if he could have borrow some money. But they weren't dumb. They knew that they'd never see that money again. Smart girls. <laughs> So I guess he borrowed money from the local Yakuza and, well, interest rates and all. Sounded like he was running from some guys I wouldn't mess with. I'm getting the picture. Anything else come to mind? Mm. Mm, not really. <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't be able to tell. Nah, you've been the doll. Would you mind calling me if anything comes up? I got a feeling it will. Sure. I'm trying to help him, right? <sighs> so Kawamura's carrying debt, huh? I just gotta figure out how to connect this connect to Uematsu. I better hit the town to see what I can dig up. Majima just puts on a big flashing front, but he's got such a heart. Mm. Uh -huh. You know I'd come, huh? Must mean I'm getting close to the guys you boys work for. But if you think that you got the drop on me, you're dead wrong. If you think you got the drop on me, you're dead wrong. This guy over here doing his sumo stretches. Who does he think he is? <laughs> Going down first. I believe it. Vanya is chaos. I believe her name is Vanya Chaos Romanov. I should say Vanya Chaos Romanov Vanya. Gotta get to the bottom of this shit. The grand with a bust. Maybe I'll try my luck at Odyssey. Assuming that place is still standing. <laughs> Memory serves, Odyssey is on South sh South Shofukucho. Am I gonna get another email to let me know that there are some... Uh, yeah! There's somebody at Gaul. There, of course there's somebody at Gaul. <laughs> I figured I'd get an email from you guys. Parking lot, North Riverside, Yokobori Golf. Catherine the Vodka Chaos. What's up, my guy? Sniff, sniff. Hey, you, smelly. You can tell there's more to you than meets the eye. Are you Transformer? You have an unusual... Oh, no, this guy is Omega Burst. I'm telling you this for your own good. Pack your shit and get the fuck out of town. Or else. Or else? What? How about I... Kick your ass instead. Yeah, I smell a bloodbath. Stroganoff. You know what? I want beef stroganoff. That sounds delicious. I think the beef stroganoff 
press B for the slow hooker. Crockpot, there we go, that's the word I want. What? Catherine Kremlin Chaos Vodka. Frown. Chaos. We can't forget the crown. Find your crown. Like I'm the one who got covered in blood. Please, no more. I'm done here. I'll just give you this instead. That's what I thought. Hooligans always do dolphins. You know what? If this is... Nope, this is before. Okay, so this is before Kiwamicha. I was gonna say because uh, Kiryu brought Katsuo to Sotenbori. But the main game happens after this. Huh? I was gonna say because that means Katsuo came to Sotenbori before his dad returned. But no, his dad returned before he ended up in Sotenbori. Unless he was kidnapped and taken to Sotenbori. That was the first time he was brought here. Which I assume, whoever wrecked was in the office and so boring, then that must mean that Katsuo was here, right? That just means that Mashimo would be a little more pissed off if Katsuo got kidnapped with Daigo because he got kidnapped just like a couple months earlier. If not weeks earlier. on the block that everyone's talking about? Don't get me wrong, dude. I ain't mad or anything. I just got too strong, you feel me? There wasn't anyone who could take me on, and I was getting bored as shit until you came to town. I can go around. Sure, I'll fight you. So you better, you'll feel better. feel a lot better. Already do. You seem to get me. So, let's do it, brah! out there who could beat me. Looks like I'll be starting up a morning regiment or some shit. I may have lost, but I feel like I'm on top of the world here. Why don't you hang on to this? It means a lot to me, this gold plate that my father gave me. Please don't lose it or sell it or anything. I want that back when I beat you in the future, dude. Ah. Okay, they 
laughs at Katsuo's use of weapons because Kaede actually knows how to do a bunch of formal fighting stuff. And Katsuo just mad dogs it. So watch him use a golf club like a baseball bat. And so watch him use a wooden sword like a baseball bat. Katsu was like, what's it matter if how I use it if it's still effective? Like, yeah, sure, you spend all this time learning how to be an actual samurai. I can still use a wooden sword. And you look ridiculous while doing it. But I get results. And that's what matters. Right? I knew there was gonna be a thing in here. Always the urinals. Hmm? <laughs> the right way. That's gonna just be like, how is there a right way when either way you get results? Please. A score plate. trying to tell us to go and play Mahjong. Trying to tell us to go and gamble for more gifts for the, uh... The Dojima gift. Uh -huh. The Dojima gift. The Kazuma gift. good because it'll give Katsuo a chance to actually like slow down and be a professional slash Kyodai and actually show Kaede respect and not just competitiveness but like that he can be serious. This guy in his fedora. Yo eye patch! seen you fight before and it turns out you're pretty damn good. How about you try your luck with me? I'm a hell of a lot stronger than you think. I kind of doubt that. Nobody in a hat like that is stronger than me. Let's find out for sure then. Don't hold back now. Oh, 
yell on this one, man. And here, you take this. I'm shaking on out of here soon. That's what I thought. Yay. Let's, uh, let's get going. Got places to be, people to find. He should have been. Huh? So much for that. He <laughs> hasn't been here since 1989. Uh. Shine. Huh. Your club's got copycats now. Guess the cabaret club business is still booming. Mm. You could go in there and see Yuki. Oh, that was miserable. They've got a year tops. Can I go in? Oh. oh. I know you. You're the old manager of the Odyssey. Yamagata, huh? Mm -hmm. Yours isn't a face I forget either. Well, well, Majima of the Grand. <laughs> Disappears so fast, I was sure that you'd gotten erased. To what do we owe the pleasure of your triumphant return? Yeah. Nothing so grandiose. I'm just here looking for a guy. Thought I'd pop in the Odyssey to get some intel, but it seems like you have gone belly up. Mm. Right. It wasn't sustainable with the numbers it was pulling in. But that's all in the past. Maybe I can help. Maybe. Know this guy? Hmm. Not a yes. Not by name. But I've shared a table with the man. He's a mahjong addict. All time of day I went in there, I'd see him. He's been sat at the table a few times. Not a bad player for a kid. Uh -huh. Mahjong, huh? Mm. Yes. But the parlor's gone now, too. Oh my gosh. What happened here? Guys, I am missing the control key. It is completely gone. There it is. I just looked down at my keyboard. The control is gone. And now it's back. We're good. And maybe a few years since I shut the doors. Outdated info. That probably isn't much use, is it? It did fall off. See you. <laughs> oh no! No, I guess. I look down and I'm like, wait, there's a piece missing from my keyboard. Outdated info. Like, that probably isn't much use, is it? Sorry. Nah, it's fit. It's enough. But that Mahjong father. Where was it? A little deeper south of Shofu... Shofuku Sho. Above a massage parlor named Hogushi Kaika. Nayate? Hogushi Kaika. Mm. Yeah. Remember that explosion back in the eight, late 80s? It closed down after that, but then it reopened the following year. Who knows? Maybe the staff there would tell you something. Your buddy there. When he had a good day at the tables, he'd go down and get a massage. Would he now? I owe you one, Yamagata san. <laughs> huh, hardly. Yesterday's foes are tomorrow's friends. Don't be a stranger, Mashima. Uh -huh. Hey, maybe. Uh oh, we're gonna go see Mak Ma uh, Makoto. Oh, Gushi guy. Let's get this over with. He left. Mm. You sure you saw him? Mm. Yes, there was a creepy man with an eye patch just down there. Mm. I wanted to yell at him to move along, but I was too scared. Mm. Think that he went mm. was sent to intimidate us? Mm. Doesn't matter. He's gone now. That's true. Come on, let's get back inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Creepy Wearing an eye patch? Nah, no way. But can we go inside? Probably not. It's I don't think it's gonna allow us to go inside. Let me in. Let me in. Hello. That's what I thought. Could be 
Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like there's gonna be a shiny thing down there. They just everywhere. didn't see him. <laughs> Echo Yuki-san, but Yuki got pulled out and didn't see him. All she heard was that there was a creepy guy with an eye patch. He does look pretty different from the Kojiro before Yuki-san, though. You're <laughs> Kind of the last place I want to be, but a lead's a lead, right? No other way around this. Okay, good talk. Let's just do this. You got this, Mashima. You're not alone. You got Hitomi. I gotta find my child. Hey, ああ、1年 あ、そういえば、川村くん、最後に店に来た日に気になることを言ってたんですよね。気になること東京の神室町に行くからしばらくこの店には来れないって。借金を肩代わりしてくれる人間と神室町に。世の中にはそんないい人もいるんですね。羨ましい。お金は何か覚えてないか。うーん、結構前のことなんですみません。いや、助かった
Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Rude. Rude. <laughs> he just we just got blue ball. Well, you know what that means. <laughs> Hi, bro, what's up? No, I absolutely was not just doing these. What the game call me out for? It was like, here, come do the Mashima Saga. It's right there on the opening page. I didn't think I had to finish the game before I was allowed. <laughs> He's got three of these blue balls. <laughs> Not what Majima's birthday was asking me for. I don't get 24 hour Cinderella. He's gonna get to Katsuo, and then Katsuo's gonna be like, Hey, Dad, what's wrong? This Your face looks different. And then he's gonna be like, I... There's no on you know? Bro! Bro! Did my Shima... Aside from the... The, uh... Betrayal that's happening in the family right now, where Majima's obviously the kid, and they like this is garbage, because it's the beginning of the whole Majima side, and it's like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore, maybe I aged out of the current Yakuza. But also, if they stole his son, his underage son, while murdering that other guy, then he's just out of it, he's like, ah, no, let's do something else. This is why he became a sieve. <laughs> We're at chapter 9 though. It's like 9 out of 13 or 14. We're pretty far in the story. And so then when no, so then when Kiryu shows up to ask Majima to come and do the dojo stuff again, he's like. Stuff, for my son's sake. I need you all the time, Abigail. All day, every day. How much of your story are you gonna get done while you're on break? That's the real question. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just trying to do this now. Wait, we have to move the story forward. Well, Abigail is gone. <laughs> We'll go and actually move the story here in a second. I'm just warming up, okay? I don't even know. I don't even remember what we're doing. So I figured it wouldn't have to just... Yo, 
done. What can Abigail hear? That is a request. Got new requests for you. Come back when I'm in the food. I need to heal before I go on anything. Questionable crates. There's a time limit now. What the? Okay, we'll do something boring pontification, and then we'll, and then we'll. Can't be that. Oh, look at all these goodies that I have. Oh, ho. <sighs> See, we're in chapter 10. There are only like four. Oops. No! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It is 
three. I call it a four more minute, four in the morning. Wow, well, four more minutes. I don't know what I was gonna say just now. Final area. Let's do this. Do this noise. Oh my god. Punch the crates, do you? I needed you to punch the freaking crates. not the mission that I meant to do. At all. I have no idea what this gear does. Equipment. Traditional men's underwear from the Sengoku period. Oh, my heal, and then do the other thing that I actually meant to do, and then you can. I'm just bad. I just. <laughs> I'm just having a good time. Chilling. Talking to you guys. Chilling. Still kind of lamenting, not la lamenting is not the word that I want. Sad that I got blue ball by this game and not finished the Majima Saga tonight. What the frick was that? I cannot believe it just pulled that on us. But I'm so glad Mashima doesn't have to be as sad as he is because he has a family and he is not alone. Sega needs to hire us to make it canon for real. Today, Come on, imagine, imagine playing Zero and then having this little sweet Malfi in the basement. Not the basement, on the first floor level of the same building Takibana's 
happening with her little flower shop. And being able to walk by her little flower shop. Oh, that sounded painful. I'm not exactly regretful of doing that, it did sound painful, though. Rewrite the beginning section where Nishi- I mean, you don't have to do much rewriting. You just, like, be reanimated at the beginning section when he's walking- and uh, Kiryu is walking with Nishi and they're talking about the girls in Tokyo being, like, Kind of shallow, and then off to the can, off to the side where he looks at the power shop. <laughs> now he's doing stuff in the window. <laughs> gonna force it. It's going to make us. <laughs> if we want to do anything. Agility. to make combo clearly extremely powerful throw i don't care about that one as much
You're being forced to go. Oh, you made for the story. But see, I can't even switch to zero because we're on chapter five. So there are like two more chapters. Well, we have to finish chapter. Yeah, we have to finish the two chapters that are Kiryu chapters before it'll even go back to Mashima. So like switching over to zero is not even gonna do anything. We'll still be in Kiryu. So you know. It just it is. It is what it is. I can't believe it would trick us like that though. That was mean. I feel like I was rolled. Hey. We already ate here. Yeah, thanks. I'm just looking for a new place to eat. I bet they looking fine. Steaky. Arigatouございました. Steaky. What are we even doing? Where'd she run off to? We don't even. Where did she? Where did she run off to? I should check in on her. Is she at Serena's? I mean, that would be the place to check. Kiryu san, I've been peeping high and low trying to find my main man Kiryu. I hear you're in a big battle with some crazy land sharks or something so cool. Please let me be your right hand man. It'll be an apology for all the trouble I got you. Well, what do you say? Oh, well. Oh, Majima construction benefits. Recruit over 50 workers. We try. <laughs> if he's not actually Rina, I'm gonna do the crowd source. <laughs> oh, wait, was she in Sultan Bori? Hey, look at me when I'm asking you a question, white suit. Let my main man's down for the count. My plan's to hit up convenience stores when spiring down the drain. You gonna take responsibility or what? Going down to Whoa, whoa, back up a minute. The fuck did you just say? You better kiss your wallet goodbye, smart ass. <laughs> Fun fact. I have learned the word for sugar 
is Sato. I, I should I should, I should have my weapons fixed before I go back. So. Hey, I'm being for real right now. Here, take this and you'll never see me again. I have a stun gun. Anyway. Oh yeah. Oh man. Nameless cat. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Isn't it sweet? We will not worry about feeding here. And we'll get back to Silver I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of restaurants in Silver Not even yet. What's up, Ogihara? More like Ogrehara. Got him. How did you lose your pillowcase? Reminds me, I need to do laundry. You know what? I didn't do this. Am I sorry about that? No. Not really. I knew she was here. Granny White, how you doing? Howdy, Kazu-chan, how you doing? Scooted my butt back to Sultan Bori over near Bishamon Bridge now. I'm loving every second of it. People are so happy. Plus, you got a real good bargain at the shops. Why don't you swing by? You helped me when I was in Gamoroto, so now it's my turn to help you. Catch you later. Sounds like Granny White is waiting for me over by Bishamon Bridge. I should stop by when I have time. Part one? How neat is this Granny? I'm Granny? Crab Shack. Hello. Hello. I will take your best food. Umaida. Is that other missing pillowcase in the dryer with your other clothing? That is the question. Oh, 
All right, Granny, where are you? Hey there, Granny. Looks like you're doing well. Well, if it ain't so tight for my castle, shout out so glory treating you fabulous, huh? It's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Don't gotta be so modest to great food, crowded streets, and prices so cheap you can get as many souvenirs as you want. Why don't you buy yourself a little something, Kazuchan? It ain't every day that you gotta spend time down at so glory. Not a bad idea. I think I'm, I'll think about it. Oh, we're speaking of souvenirs. I forgot to grab something in Camarocho. I wanna buy myself some handmade cookies too. That's okay. At your age, it's more about making memories and eating souvenirs, isn't it? No, it ain't. Hey, I got an idea. You should buy some for me next time you're up there, Kazuchan. Mm -hmm. Do I have to? Come on, don't be like that. Give it as a present for your dear old granny. Plus, I'll give you a reward if you do. All right. Try to remember. Thank you much, Kazuchan. Looking forward to it. Get granny cookies. Hey! <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot about those two op. those, uh, two side substances down there. Oh, oh, uh. okay. Thank you. My nose appreciates, my lungs appreciate you. Hey, did you hear that? See the news? They're making a Yakuza Sunset 4. Hmm? Wonder if this one will be any good. Sunset 3 cut out all the best parts, you know? Well, that's what happens when you change directors. 1 and 2 were so perfect. How could they hop to the top? Hope to top them. Beats me, but hey, they're filming the next one right here in Sotenbori. I saw them scouting over by Bishamon Bridge. <gasps> Serious? Come on, let's try and make it as an extra. I'm ready for the big screen debut. Wouldn't be much of a debut if you're on screen for two seconds without a single line of dialogue. Sounds like they're shooting a Yakuza movie around here. I guess the locale works. I want to be in a Yakuza movie. Do I call this method acting? Boy. All right, put the knife down. Oh, no. Leave me alone. I'm gonna run this bastard through and ain't nobody gonna stop me. Let's see what you got, bitch. Hey, nobody's stabbing anybody today. Just calm down and let's talk about it. You got that business, I'm, I'm... Guess you don't got it in ya. What's going on here? Fuck if I know. Lady just runs up to me out of nowhere, yelling about how she's gonna kill me. But she poured all of her cash into a host club, and now she's taking it out on the first host she finds. <laughs> anyway, I got a jet. Be careful, you hear? <laughs> you okay? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why don't you tell me what's going on? Okay. My name is Yuriko. I got a sister, much younger than me, Mickey. Miki. Up till last year, she's been working here in Sotenbori. But she got scammed. Those horrible men took everything that she had, but not even that was enough for them. One day, they kidnapped her, locked her up, abused her, kept her in a cage like some sort of wild dog. It's been a whole year since, and the cops haven't lifted a damn finger. I finally figured out who was her, who was, who has her, though. That bastard is one of them. I saw him. I just couldn't hold it back anymore. I was gonna use this knife and get him back, get back at him for what he did, but I, I couldn't muster the courage. That was the right choice. Killing a man won't find you your sister any faster. There are smarter ways to go about that. What's your name? It's Gary. You're right, Kiryu-san. Stabbing him ain't gonna bring Mi Miki back. This is 
kind of a long shot, but have you ever seen Miki before? She looks like this. Well? Yeah. Sorry, I can't say I have. Right, of course you haven't. Miki and I, we lost our parents years ago. She's the only family that I got left. I want to help her, but there's nothing I can do. Cops ignore me. People don't take me seriously. Hell, I don't even have the guts to stab one bastard who took her. Here you sound. I know that this is crazy for me to be asking this, but do you think that you could help find Miki for me? I'll do anything you want if you manage to find her. Just please save my sister. I'm begging you, Kiryu-san. Uh. If it means making sure that you don't end up a murderer, then I'll help the best I can. Oh, Kiryu-san, thank you so much! Let's talk details. You said you have info on the guys who kidnapped Miki, right? What do you know? I have pictures. Here. First one's a host named Yagi. He's the guy who was just here. He makes his money by targeting lonely single ladies. This guy is the absolute scum of the earth. The second photo is a man of Kajiwara, realtor. At least that's what he calls himself. More like a land shark, if you ask me. Folks around here despise him. As for the last photo, goes by Kojima. Ain't nobody sure if that's really his real name, though. The guy's impossible to pin down. If I had to guess, I'd say that he's the one running the whole operation. He looks like a regular old businessman on the outside, but somehow, he's one of the richest men in the country. No way is he getting all th all that through legal means. There's the there are the guys who took who got Mickey. I'm sure of it. Okay, I'll see what I can find out. He got real hard at gold, Kiryu-san. I can't find the words to tell you how much it means to me. First guy, Yagi. Working at the club on the East Shofuku Shofukucho Street. I always struggle with that word. I'm counting on you, Kiryu san. Well. Well. Oh, look, they're both right up there. Oh, and there's that one. I like that cow. I know it's probably hot. That seems a little over from that. Eh? I saw it, I swear. Osaka Castle split right in two. No, oh, I'm serious. You gotta believe me. He do be looking like a director. Oh, sorry about that. No, it was my fault. I can't seem to do anything right. Oi. Wait, you dropped something. Yes, 
So I go track him down, huh? Yakuza Sunset 4. Isn't this the script of that movie those kids were talking about? The movie is still in production. This must be pretty important. I better track down that guy. It looked like he was heading up to Silken Glory Street. You gotta go get Kronk. I think that's the guy who dropped the Yakuza Sunset 4 script. I better get it back to him. I see if we gonna go hit Wasted. Hey, aren't you the guy I bumped into in the bridge? No, I was the one not paying attention. But I'm glad that I found you. You dropped this. Don't worry, I didn't read it. Wow, you really tracked me down to give this back? That means a lot. I feel like this Yakuza Sunset thing has a lot of people talking. You must be a pretty big fan. Oh, I used to be. Nowadays, I don't know how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What do you mean? You hate the movie you're working on? Wait, you're not a fan, but the director of Yakuza Sunset movies. That's right. Though, I've only actually been responsible for one of them so far, Yakuza Sunset 3, the one everyone hated. My name's Sugano. Is this meta? Kiryu. As you might have suspected, those pages are actually the script for Yakuza Sunset 4, Kiryu-san. They're planning on using Bishamon Bridge in the film, so that I went ahead to scout it out a bit, I see. Mm. You seem pretty down about this, Sugano-san. What's the real problem? The whole film. I have no idea how to proceed with it. I feel like I've lost my vision. What do you mean? Every day on Sunset 3. It's like a dream. I loved it. I'd even stay up all night editing the reels. Everything seemed so perfect. Until the movie debuted. It was like I had woken up from my dream to a real life nightmare. <sighs> Every forum on the net in an uproar talking about how Sunset Set 3 was a disgrace to the franchise. They were all calling me to step down or worse. The internet sounds like a cruel place. <laughs> Katsu will be like, eh, it can't be. The worst part was. Once I calmed down and watched it, I agreed with them. I don't know how I, that I deserve to direct another one. I gave it my best effort, but that one just wasn't good enough. I couldn't capture the magic of the old sunsets, and it got me thinking. If all I'm going to do is drag the series through the mud, maybe I should step down. Well, at least that explains what's got you so down. If you don't mind me asking, How'd you end up the director in chair for the movie? And what happened to the original director? He retired to some far off corner of the earth, nobody even knows where. But with the su the fan base sunset has, the film company couldn't just let it die, so they chose me to head it up. <sighs> I was a big, huge fan, but I found out the hard way that loving a movie as a fan and making one yourself are very different things. I knew it'd be a challenge to live up to the expectations and the hype, but I didn't expect to be eviscerated for my best efforts if only I could replicate the way the old director did things. But none of this is your problem, Kiryu-san. Sorry for talking your ear off with the sob story. It's okay. I hope having someone to lend an ear helped. Well, the show must go on. I'll see you around, Kiryu-san. <laughs> You're like, I. Poor guy is really struggling. Next time I'm at a video store, maybe I'll check out Sunset. Yakuza Sunset 3. Well, now we're gonna go. It's curious, like, I'm about to go and get uh, cultured.
<laughs> you just trip over all of the bikes. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Appreciate it. Thanks again for the assist. Okay, that's what I thought. You know, sometimes they just... Coffee! Yeah, Tommy! Oh my gosh, imagine if Sunshine is bit literally almost right across the way from Sato's now. Every time Katsuo goes to work, he sees his mom's old business slash home. Every time. It's right there. <laughs> We have come to be cultured, sir. Hello. Does will it let us watch Sun Yakuza Sunset here, or is this just It's about a Yakuza who betrays his plan to protect the woman he loves, Admiral. The characters are actually pretty fleshed out, too. Not only that, the actors did a great job of bringing them to life. You can't complain about the music, either. It really heightens the tension. But, there's something off about the action. It's supposed to be a Yakuza movie, but the fights don't feel extreme enough. Hmm, it's just about over. The protagonist finally defeated the clan and is about to elope with the woman he loves. But as he's leaving the HQ, he gets stabbed in the back by a clan member he had raised like his own son. Last shot is his lover waiting at the station for her sweetheart to show up, but he never does. He's over here sobbing. Well, I finished the movie. Maybe if I head back to Sigil, I'll run into Sugano again. Maybe I can help him out and now that I've seen his work. Maybe you should watch one and two as well to see what the fans expected versus what they got. That might help. This is how here you just spent like seven hours in the boot. Uh, okay. <laughs> Here you is smart in a different way. You're just thinking in a creative manner. You know what I mean. Oh, I just have a bunch of armor on. <laughs> Who is staying up until 3 a.m.? Let me know. I'm 
Having a guy with a gun wants to just quest for me. I'm gonna try to not stay up that late, that's for sure. South Shofukucho. Uh, we're not heading back that way until later, my friend. Like, by later I mean Tuesday. <laughs> we're doing this movie script and then it's time to go. I was just trying to cope with being blue ball. Freaking <laughs> it! I still can't believe it happened. Damn, Sigano's not here. Nah. Hey, aren't you like one of the guys I was bop babbling about movies mm. earlier? Hmm? I eat, sleep, and breathe the silver screen. You want to talk a little shop? Sure. I like movies as much as the next guy. Great. Go on and pull up a stool. Names Fukatsu. The only thing that makes throwing back drinks better is getting to talk to move about talk movies while you do it. I'm curious. I'm actually, I actually watched Yakuza Sunset 3 recently. Are you familiar with it? Oh, oh, I remember lining up for that one when it first hit the theater. Remind me again what it's about, though. A Yakuza who fights for the woman he loves. A young girl who swaps bodies with a Yakuza. That is a Rob Schneider movie. Yeah, because I can fight off a colossal monster. It's about an admirable, admirable Yakuza who betrays his clan to protect the woman he loves. The characters were so realistic, I couldn't help but get drawn in by it. You got that right. Characters can really make a break a flick like that. And if you ask me, the characters are what gave Sunset 3 its charm. The last scene is what sealed it, though. The poor woman waiting at the station. That was a piece of art. Uh. Yeah. The ending really left an impression on me, too. There's just something about the bittersweet ending that strikes the right chord. Sounds as if you liked it, but if you had to give it a score, what would you rate it on a 10-point scale? I definitely liked it, but I wouldn't say it was perfect. Something felt off about it. Oh yeah? And what was that? The music was mediocre, actors didn't fit the role, action was. The action was so far. It just felt like there was something missing. This was supposed to be a Yakuza movie, but there was no impact, no thrill of the clash. Beyond that, the Yakuza themselves felt kind of forced, like the director didn't know how Yakuza were supposed to act. Oh, I was thinking the same thing. It wasn't a single fight scene that felt like it had an oomph it ought, oughta. None of the bone-crushing satisfaction. Real shame, too. Best parts of Sunset 1 and 2 were the elaborate action sequences and authentic feeling Yakuza setting. I bet that's why 3 flopped. You know, I actually had a chance to talk to Sagano, the director. That's the only reason I watched Sunset 3 at all. Interesting. He was depressed because his movie wasn't received as well as Sunset 1 and 2. He even considered quitting over the fan response. He must be young if he's having trouble taking criticism like that. Don't blame him, though. It's tough taking over another someone's, someone else's work. And sure, Sunset 3 was rough, but it had some real emotional moments. First two in the series had them too, but nothing on that level. Old director was good at covering up his flaws, but he didn't have much of an eye for real human drama. Rumor has it that if he actually pushed the studio to bring Sagano back for Sunset 4, that's how much he liked the third. Huh. If you want my opinion, I think Sagano's got a long career ahead of him. Just as a, just has to mature a bit. Got get some experience under his belt. Sounds like you know a lot about this. You must, he, you must really love the film industry. I bet this is Sunset 1 and 2's director. Got that right. More than that, I love talking about common interests over a nice glass of whiskey. Anyways, I'm gonna catch up some catch some fresh air and feed her home. Good talking to you, Kiryu-san. Likewise, Fukatsu. 
just a slow stroll. Kiri is like, I will do your action sequences. Kiri sucks. What the? What is it? What is this pose? How long have you been there? Since you and that old man started talking about Sunset 3, that was the whole conversation. I saw you sitting there when I came back from taking a leak, but I figured that I'd wait until you were done talking to approach. Honestly, Kiryu-san, means a lot to me to know that you watched my movie, and it's nice to hear such frank, honest opinions. As you know, I've been nothing but s about- I've, I've been thinking about stepping down as Sunset Forest Director. Nothing about this has been easy on me. But I've changed my mind. I can't quit. I want to address the flaws of Sunset 3 and make sure the fourth entry of the series is best ever. Mm. But I don't have much knowledge of Yakuza life or of fighting. I need to experience these things firsthand if I want to succeed. Yeah, you've got to. Wait, no, don't do that. Maybe I'll go join the Al Omi Alliance. They should be able to educate me on the Yakuza life. Think that they'll try hold tryouts anytime yeah. soon? Hold on, this isn't the type of situation where you really want first-hand experience. But how else can I learn enough to make a film that delivers an authentic Yakuza experience? <sighs> I can teach you. I'm sure I know enough about the Yakuza to make an authentic film about it. Wait, you're not one of them, are you, Kiryu-san? Of course not. I'm just a civilian. Calm down. Oh, what a shame. I am just a fanboy then. Can't blame you there. Everyone rom romanticizes the Yakuza. Anyway, in that case, can I ask you to stop by the office? I'm leasing for a Yakuza Sunset 4 so that we can talk. Let's go. Well, thank you, Kiryu-san. Right this way. Right this way. This is your office. I was expecting something a little more cinematic. Sorry to disappoint, but props are all stored in the studio lot. And since I'm only here for the shoot, there's not much point in getting cozy. I guess that makes sense. Now, let's... See, look, my guess is that Poison is actually Mr. Libido, but Mr. Libido, obviously, age. To do what he's doing now, which is taking... Pictures. Now let's get there right. Right to it. Charlie, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Then let's see. First, I'd like you to play the part of a regular clan member getting the patriarch's son who's just come home. It's not much reference material of this kind of clan relationship. I have no idea how it's supposed to go. Oh, and the son is coming home from elementary school. Just do whatever you think is natural. This reminds me of how I used to treat Daigo when he was a kid in the doshi of a family office. It shouldn't be too hard. Got it. Okay, now imagine the sun is walking in through the door in front of you. And action! Welcome home, Master! Heart! Oh. And cut! That was great, Kiryu san. You made such a treat with him, but. Make sure to treat him with the reverence deserving of a patriarch's son. He might just be a kid, but he is an important kid. That's right. Reminds me of when Daigo was still young, dragging me all around Gamurocho. Who's Daigo? Uh, never mind. Who's next? next? Second scene is a crowned jewel of every Yakuza film. One where the hero takes responsibility for a mistake he's made. Here he is like, I'm reliving my years as 20. Except I didn't cut off my finger. Truth, the fans would never stop complaining if this film was absent or got treated the wrong way. This isn't, this stuff isn't really up my alley, so I'll need your help here as well. After all, I only ever directed comedies before. Comedy. There's no place for comedy in Yakuza story. Now, let me set the scene here. You, a captain, are going to say something to the patriarch and cut your pinky off to make up for your mistake. The underlying maid. Underling maid. Sounds pretty heavy. Yes, that's the point. Now, let's see what you've got. Never. Yakuza comedy nugget was a complete straight man, okay? The most serious property manager I have ever had was a chicken. Now then, action! 
Be gone, Pinky! The knife is too sharp. Hey, I failed you. Failed myself. Failed the clan. And now, I'm going to show you how a man atones for his actions. Oh. Ah. And cut! Three sound. That was incredible. He's like, I've seen somebody have cut off their finger a couple, of, like a couple of times. I could have sworn that you were really going through with it. Well, I guess how it would look in real life. I can guess. You know, you've performed such realism today. You tell me if you really were really in one of those families, right? Huh. <laughs> Kidding. I'm sure that you're just a big fan. Actually, uh, don't worry. It was just a joke. Next. Up will be the action sequence where you have a showdown huh? against. Oh. Uh oh. Who are you? Oh my gosh! Look at the suits. That's what we should be asking the two of you. This is our meeting place. What do you think you're doing here? Don't you ridiculous! I went through a real estate agency and rented out this office. I can show you the contract. Hold on. You look familiar. I know, this fool's a guy directing Yakuza Sunset now. I've seen him on TV. Hey, <laughs> this asshole made Yakuza Sunset to the one with the critic score that practically went fucking naked? Haha, <laughs> what a joke. Uh, well, why don't you take your buddy here and get lost, you pathetic loser, or do your whole industry a favor and make sure that you never release another thing. <laughs> Sagana. You wanted to see a fight scene, right? Huh? Take notes. I'm about to give you all the reference material you could ever need. Huh? Hmm? Well, your chance. Now you're gonna get the beat down. Die! Honestly, but if you had to order them from best to worst, Brad. Hell. I wanted that knife, but I will take the death. <laughs> This guy is a freaking monster. I don't want to die. If you three ever show your faces around here again, I'll make sure that's exactly what happens. Got it? Yes, we're really sorry. Ah. You okay, Sagano? Yeah, you saved my life, Kyrgyzstan. But more importantly, I learned a ton! You were like a beast, unchained. That kind of raw fury is exactly what Yakuza Sunset 3 was missing. I've been swimming in such a sea of doubt lately, it's been impossible to make any progress on Yakuza Sunset 4. What if critics pan that movie, the movie? What if I let my fans down again? What if the old director, Fukatsu, doesn't like it? Wait, Fukatsu. The old man at the bar had a hunch. But this has been such an eye-opening experience, and it's all thanks to you, Kiryu-san. I'm going to look over that script with a fresh pair of eyes and get the film rolling. I think that I have what it takes to make this series shine, just like Fukatsu did. I have faith in you too, Sugano. But listen, I don't think that you should strive to emulate Fukatsu's style or even his success. Huh? There are things that you bring to the table that even he didn't accomplish. The raw emotion that you capture in your last film, second to none. You need to make the movie that you want to make it. The fans can feel the combination of your attention to detail and your passion, and they'll love it. As for me, I can't wait for Sunset Four. I'll put my I'll put my heart into it. I promise. Let me thank you, Kiryu-san, for everything you've done for me. Give me a bloody binding. Bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna walk down the stairs. 
looks like Yakuza Sunset 4 is going to be just fine, especially with the Dragon of Dojima in a supervision role. So you knew all along, Kakatsu. More or less. And for the record, I never lied to you. I'm nothing more than an old movie buff now. I suppose you got me there. Really, though, I gotta thank you, Kiryu-san. Sagano's gonna be a pride and joy of the film industry someday, believe you me. You did the world a service, not letting him fall flat on his face again. I didn't do much. I just don't like to see people lose faith in their talents. Huh. Say, so how about we go see Sunset 4 together when it comes out? We can get a discount if you pretend to be my son. Hey, come on. I think Sunset 4 is going to deserve the full price of admission. Aw, oh, don't get all high and mighty on me, careful, or I'll spoil the ending for you. That's pretty juvenile threat, wouldn't you say? Hey, the secret of staying creative is staying young at heart. That's so. It sure is, my boy. Sure is. Well! Oh, he's right here. <laughs> we might as well. He's right here. We can find out to get his uh, back lot. Excuse me. Is he up on another floor? Come on, you gotta talk to the pizza guy. He trying to do you a solid. the deadly assassin that came to kill us. Are you curious? What do you want? It goes without saying. I've been waiting here. I'm taking you out. Right now. And that's not the smile for her. I'm taking you out. Figuratively. <laughs> Metaphorically. <laughs> Okay, 
We're gonna go down to that second floor and make sure that it's not beeping at us anymore. It's still beeping at us. What the does it want? Music makes you sad. Why? Well, that concludes Mashima's birthday. We got it for most of the time. And then we got Blue Ball. Oh, did she get lost? Did she, did she not call you because she was dropping off the pizza? That's lame. That's lame -o in the Drino. Well, thanks everybody for hanging out. Happy birthday to Mashim again. See you all on the other side of things. Enjoy your pizza and have a good week. Also, don't die. <laughs>